That's 2020 mood right there. Hey guys, so it's Monday. One of the hardest days, really, of the week. It's the start of a grind. Didn't sleep well last night. Hopped on the treadmill. And wow, I, I tweaked my neck. Barely pulled it up. In times like these where it's just a grind, it's just an absolute struggle because it's taken away from my energy the days that you don't want to do it are the days that you got to grind to do it which means you're getting better so tip of the day is fight through those excuses that you're giving yourself and just find ways to get better i'm at my outdoor rink where i usually shoot pucks and i'm technically not supposed to be in here because it's caged in but they left an opening so that means it's open <laughs> Gosh, that feels good. Just taking snapshots against the boards, no net. Going from different distances, started off closer, then moved back to implement it like kind of like a real game. I'm a defenseman, I'm shooting pucks from the point away from the net, distance away. So that's what I'm working on. <laughs> Guys, my buddy sent me this hilarious video that I recorded. Just, just watch this, this is hilarious. <laughs> Third workout of the day. Yeah, like I'm so physically tired. Do I finish this? I can rest tonight. Well, 200 push-ups. I'm doing 200 core exercises, 20 to 30 chin-ups, and then I got my sprint work. Then I'm done. I'm at the end of my workout. I've done about 190 push-ups. I still got to do chin-ups, but since I'm at 190, I'm gonna do 10 tempo push-ups. So really, really slow, fast on the way up. First question is, what is the best thing about playing professional hockey? For me, um, this year, I thought the, the greatest thing about it was the fact that, you know, I'm playing a sport that I love so very much that I grew up playing my whole life. And I'm able to do that in front of a whole bunch of different fans and in different cities all over the United States and in Canada, loud crowds and uh, playing alongside a bunch of teammates that you, you know, you get to know more and more throughout the year was really, really special. And uh, that's probably the greatest thing about pro hockey for me. And a second thing is uh, the food that uh, you get on the road and those uh, those roadie, roadie dinners. Second question is, when did I start taking hockey really seriously? Start training hard and all that. Uh, to be honest, I have always, I kind of had to make sacrifices even from when I was younger, missing out on, you know, birthday parties and you know going out with friends and stuff like that I've always kind of had to sacrifice so I'd say the margin where I, I I really started to dial it in was when I when I stopped playing soccer for hockey so obviously I had to choose one or the other to take it more seriously and I chose hockey because I loved it more and that's when I really dialed it in but really um, ever since I started playing you know I kind of I had to make those sacrifices that's it ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed this video Leave your question in the comment down below if you want me to answer it in the next video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on TikTok, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Shmai later. Yeah.